But if I told you the 2001 Miami Hurricanes were the greatest football team ever assembled, Clayton Portis, Willis McGahee, and Frank Gore led a three-headed monster in the backfield. Tell me how a college got a better depth chart than the Dolphins. Spickable. Andre Johnson and Santana Moss were the team's top receivers. These boys dusted NFL cornerbacks, so tell me how Rutgers stopping 4-4 speed. Stupid. Jeremy Shockey was the safety net at tight end, backed up by Kellen Winslow, the ultimate five-star prospect for the streets. Any brave soul running across the middle was met by twin Mack Trucks and Ed Reed and Sean Taylor, rest in peace to the competition. At middle linebacker was Jonathan Vilma, a contract killer with impeccable IQ, and good luck trying to run through Vince Wilford, a brick wall of thickness on the line. Mount McKinney protected the blind side, giving up zero sacks throughout his college career. What the fuck? Locking up outside was three-time Pro Bowler on trail roll. These boys were playing NCAA football on all mat Inspire. At first, I thought this was a joke, but then I remember this team. Look at this roster. It was just pros at every position. This is insane. Let's look back at the 2001 Miami Hurricanes, arguably the greatest college football team to ever exist. First up, they have 38 players that would end up on NFL rosters, the most ever in college football. They had huge players like Frank Gore, Andre Johnson, and Ed Reed. They went 12-0, won the national championship, and their defense allowed less than 10 points per game, and their offense scored over 42 points per game. Oh, and also for the best thing, they have 38 players drafted in the NFL, and 17 of those 38 were first-round picks. This college football roster had 38 draft picks. That's right, it's the 2001 Miami Hurricanes. 17 of those picks were first rounders, five of which were in the top 10. They had ridiculous talent on both sides of the ball. The roster was so deep, future Pro Bowler Sean Taylor was a backup. Five-time Pro Bowler Frank Gore was a third string running back behind Clinton Portis and Willis McGahee. Half the teams they beat finished in the top 25 and they embarrassed Nebraska in the BCS title game. Good luck ever trying to assemble a roster like that again. Hurricanes of Miami. And immediately the Canes will try to strike deep as they go down the middle and it is touchdown. Andre Johnson was all by himself. It's like running downfield. Craver falls on the man press coverage. Give it to Portis. Lost his balance, but Whoa, keeps on that. going, and he might tear it open. Touchdown. In third and seven right now. The ball is whipped downfield. Yeah. Intercepted. Went right through the hands of the receiver, and it's touchdown Miami. James Lewis. The 21-yard line. Dorsey back. Looking to the end zone. It's touchdown. Shucky. First action. And get something out of it. Oh, Whoa. the ball comes out. It's Vilma again with another fierce tackle.